We had a brilliant idea at lunch today. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even want to be on camera. She, she's like, she's like, yeah, let's do it. And then, and then it's, I don't want to be on camera. Anyways, we were eating lunch today and uh, we we're at this new place and we decided we're gonna give people our opinions on these places. Like the food, the, the vibe, all that stuff. And uh, today we chose a place called Diamond X Beer Company, I think is what it's called. Diamond X Beer Co. Here in Billings, Montana. And don't get me wrong, their place is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. It was pretty. Like the, the bar setting, the, the stairs, everything in there is really cool. You can see the brewery going and all that stuff behind glass. Really great looking place. Their patio looks amazing as well, lit covered stuff like that mm -hmm. number one for me on the list I felt like people were not dressed appropriately to be in a serving setting uh, girls wearing short shorts dudes wearing short shorts um, super low cut or high cut skirts is that what they were like like, a tennis skirt. like you could see butts almost essentially is what it was and it, it there's holes and shorts, stuff like that. It just wasn't appropriate. TikToks. Food huh? safety wise, it's not there. That's, that's yeah, she's a food safety queen over here. Overall vibe was okay. The server, he was he was attentive and stuff like that. Um, made sure that I checked out my beer before I like tasted it before I actually ordered it, stuff like that, which was awesome. Um, her mimosa was kind of lacking in flavor. Um, the beer was pretty decent. I'm a big Angry Hanks fan, and the beer that they had didn't quite come to Angry Hanks standards for me. But it was decent. I could, I could taste a lot of the root in there, which, uh, but it was, but it was, uh, it was drinkable. Uh, I ordered uh, the Hangover Burger, but I added uh, bacon. bacon to it, and then I had these fries, truffle fries, truffle fries with. Parmesan the Parmesan parsley, parsley thing and stuff garlic. like that. And I thought, yeah, that should be all right. It's got this queso that's supposed to go on the burger as well. Number one, little did I know that the queso literally goes over the burger, like over the top of the burger. So a classic burger that you put in your hands and eat, you can't do that with this one. Otherwise, you're just it's just a big sloppy mess. She ordered the garlic palm fries, or not fries, excuse Traditional me. Traditional wings. Traditional wings. Now, if she eats anything other than, let, I'll let her talk about her chicken wings. They were just cooked too long. They were Other, dry. Otherwise, she loved them. The flavor was there, just there. There was crunchy. a lot of, they, they didn't strain them. A lot of grease in the bottom, you'll see pictures of that. Um, so the celery and carrots were soaking in the grease. Um, they didn't toss the garlic and farm. Yeah, they, they just put it they over just them. just threw the wings in and then popped it. Um, the truffle fries, I got a side of those. And those were decently warm I like when the you truffle get to the fries. bottom. I like the truffle fries. While we were waiting for the wings. I ate, I ate the truffle fries. So. Yeah. But They're the, decent. But uh, going on to the burger, that was the worst burger I've ever tasted. It had egg. Uh, it was a very thin caramel. layer of egg. It was you very can't thin even egg. compare it to like the Red Robin burger. Yeah, yeah. Very thin. And then what was uh, caramel onion? Caramelized onion. Caramelized onion. I I added bacon. But the big thing that got me with that was the queso sauce that they literally just glooped over the top of it. You had to eat it with a fork and knife. And I, I'm i gonna admit, I've tried eating a burger with a fork and knife before and I got made fun of, all right? I'm a man, I don't have soft hands. But the flavor on this burger was absolutely horrid. The burger itself, the meat not taste right it tasted gross it tasted kind of charred it tasted or... like it tasted like walmart meat i'm 
Walmart yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah, Walmart meat. It tastes like a good quality of burger. You know those chuck meats that you get in the bag or uh, not the bag, rolls. Uh, the rolls at Walmart? Yeah. That's what it tasted, it tasted like. We bought like one of those about burger. two years ago. We would never do that again. It was so bad. I mean, they actually, you can tell they made the patty right there. Like they it was, formed the it was patty, thick. they cooked the patty right thick. there, which yeah. is nice and sort of frozen, but it was low grade beef. It was horrible. It was, pretty bad. it was not good. It was not good. I ate literally. Um, you'll see in this picture. Um, I ate. He ate maybe a quarter. I ate a quarter of it. I I had her test out a little the bit of quarter. it, and the rest. Uh, mm -hmm. I ate the fries. I, well, most of the fries. It, it was not a very good. A lot of flies. There were. Yeah, flies there were a lot of flies. I think it's because they had the doors open, which they probably shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, Food safety wise, they should have a net or something there blocking it off. Yeah, something, um, something, right? There were flies. It was bad. There were flies all over. Like, I was going like this yeah. the whole time we were in there. We were in there for about an hour. The rest of the restaurant so far where we were sitting was clean. Yeah, yeah. So it was weird. But it must be where the doors were. It's, it's a like very a hip big garage doors. It's a very hip environment. I love the building. The building is gorgeous. Service was great. The manager even came over. Yeah, she did notice, or I don't know if our server. We were might, taking pictures. Or yeah, something. we were taking pictures of our plates. That that might have set her off, but she came over, and I will tell you right now, she was dressed inappropriately. Yes. Uh, she, like, you could see her. You could almost see her hoo ha. I didn't like that part, but she was in a very tight, slim red dress. Um, not very professional. The big waiters, old fingernails. Yeah, that's. That's a germ carrier. I'm, shut up. That's a germ carrier. Come on. Let's hear it. Let's it hear it. is. No. Um, you're not, you should not have nails half inch thicker than your nail, like your finger beds, because of the just cross contamination. Chemicals, cross contamination, germs. Um, but she wasn't in the kitchen cooking, but she was still like touching and Actively her touching and stuff. Yeah. Um, so were the waiters and waitresses. Either way. They were not in uniform. I, mean, I think no, that was my biggest complaint. There was no uniformity was to it at nothing. all. It was very it was hipster esque, yeah. I guess. It'd be way better if they had a uniform. A nice little uniform, even if it was just like a catering top, black khaki slacks, shorts, whatever it is. Uniform style with that type of restaurant is mm -hmm. definitely would help. One thousand percent. I think that would too. And it would And it covers things that you should not be showing having. No, not even just showing, that's not the problem. It's your fluids, your, the smells, the chemicals you put on your armpits, your chest, all that stuff comes out into the food. Oh man, she's going nuts. Yeah. Let's get her off of that. Anyways, she came up to our table. She was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, she was adamant about giving us a gift card. And I was honest and I said, hey, honestly, because of this burger, this burger, um, we won't be coming back. So a gift card would do us no use. Um, but she did try to correct it and everything without us really, I wasn't gonna, complain or anything they like that because um, it was my fault for ordering a burger that I mean how do you F up a burger yeah. you pour stuff on top of it okay so I think we should have looked at the menu first um, again, I did look at the menu no again I could have sworn in the menu that the queso was inside the burger though not drenched on top uh, either way just... either way that was that was a poor experience or, well it was a poor food experience poor flavor poor I would I give it a thumbs down. So what do you give it? Overall? Probably like your a, food. Like your food. As an average consumer that doesn't want to bitch about fingernails. No, so food wise? Yeah. The fries were good. The flavor of the chicken was decent. It's just the chicken was like really hard and cooked too long. Let's like go with this or this? I don't know. Come on. Give it this. You can give it. I'm gonna give, give it mid. one of these. I'm gonna do mid. You're gonna do mid. Yeah. All right. Now mid. here's the kicker. We paid sixty-three dollars, including the tip. I felt I I only gave a ten percent tip because I was I was disappointed in the food and everything, and the flies and stuff. But the guy was nice. I wasn't gonna leave him with nothing. It's a good server. Um, and I paid full price. I, he he did offer to cut it in half, and I was like, no, it's my mistake. You know, I shouldn't be trusting. Yeah, yeah, I'll get out of that. You should but have anyways, read more of the details. But anyways. We're doing mid. Mid. I mean. She's going mid. I'm going, not going back, ever. So we did do this thing. 
we decided we we're gonna buy the cups. She loves cups from places. I do. And uh, you tell us whether we should uh, keep it or break it. Well, you want to keep it, don't you? Well, we might like. I, that's, a mid, that's a That's a that's a mid. So I, I think we're gonna do something to where, um, if we both agree and we don't like it. We're gonna break the glass. It's a make it or break it type deal. Yeah. For me. So me, it's more mid. He's down. He so. So we're gonna figure out something. So she saved it. That's what she's saying. She wants the glass. I she do, wants it's the glass. Cute. All right. But you guys have a good one. Hopefully this helps you in the future. Now. It's dirty now. Yeah. Good I touched job. Touched it. I've got greasy fingers from the. Well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Diamond X Beer Co. Oh. It's weird. super cute. It's just now my fingers are greasy. All right, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hopefully this review helps you. Um, if you have a difference in opinion, let me know. Let me know if I got the wrong thing even. Uh, but I feel like that should have been a fairly easy lunch. Oh yeah, and it's our 18th anniversary. 18th anniversary. I'm 36. We've been married half of my life today. <laughs> so we're gonna do this again next week. Maybe later tonight for our dinner. We'll see. <laughs> always think about you, always thought I had a